Hello everyone and welcome to another Bass Singer Reaction. As you can see, no Halloween mask right now. So this is an addition to the already planned reactions this month. And we are going to be checking out the Halo theme by voice play featuring Scott Porter. Scott Porter was one of the leads in a show called Friday Night Lights that I just finished. Um, it's a show about high school football, but it's fantastic either way. I absolutely loved it. Great emotional arcs, really solid acting. It's a really good story. It's five seasons. Recommend Scott Porter. You're the man. Anyway, Halo theme. A recent one by Voice Play. And we're going to go ahead and dive in. Guys, please like and subscribe. And if you really love what I'm doing, please consider donating to my Patreon for as little as $1 a month to get all kinds of early access and behind the scenes stuff and interactions with me, all that good stuff. But without further ado, Let's let's jump in. This is an extra one this month. You're going to be getting, you will have just gotten Hoist the Colors. I'm planning to release this as well next week. So it's a big week. Two big, awesome pieces by voice play. It's just, you know, it's really voice play month. We're doing, there's Halloween, but it seems like it's turning into voice play month. And I've got no problem with that. So let's go ahead and dive in and check out this cover of the Halo theme. <laughs> so, Jeff's just going to start us off with an E1 sub. Excuse me. Let's just, uh, <clears throat> let's just, uh, <clears throat> let's just run that back, shall we? Really great intro. You know, this oh, this is just so iconic. It's like full nostalgia. Um, this They did a beautiful job with this intro. This intro works, you know, it, it works being very simple. It, you, can, you can pull it off with one single voice. Um, I actually put a TikTok up singing in this key or close to it uh, that has 220,000 plays now. And it's in a stairwell with a bunch of reverb. It's actually on my YouTube channel now. And that is convincing if you just have one voice singing it. And it's also convincing and fantastic and more intricate if you have more voices for the intro. Still a kind of simple fabric, but it weaves, the voices weave in and out. So, you know, it's a really great place to start. Usually that's where the covers in for this theme. Um, but of course not. Of course not with voice play. They're going to do the whole thing and they're going to knock it out of the park. And we just got Lane coming in with the, which, man, if you've ever, ever played Halo, it's just, it's such nostalgia. I actually, three winters ago, I bought an original Xbox and Halo 1 just to play that game. Just so I could play that game over winter break. And it was so worth it. Uh, such a good game. 10 out of 10. It got ranked when it came out and it deserves it. Truly iconic, revolutionary. And what do you know, a great soundtrack to go along with it. Five seconds back so we can hear this transition. <laughs> I love it. Just like <laughs> stacking, just stacking it up, baby. Just stacking up the harmony, stacking up the voices. <clears throat> the crazy thing when you stack like that is no one has to be doing any kind of crazy belting, like super loud, because when you stack, all those higher harmonics are going to clash and create this kind of cacophony of like madness in the high partials. 
and it it just brings all this energy so you just stack 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 then you have this freaking wall of sound coming at you without even having to do anything that crazy i remember one time uh in my undergrad choir chamber choir we the first chord of this piece was singing uh, every it got split, I think seven or eight ways, and we sang every note in the chord at once, and it was like this crazy soundscape would fill an auditorium because there's just like so much clash and constructive and destructive interference with the sound waves. So it's just amazing how they built that up, and I, I'm geeking out. I'm geeking out a little bit because it's like nostalgia and acapella and like awesome stuff and Scott Porter. It's like so many good things happening. This is a lot of fun. Let's keep going. All right, so whatever belting was just happening there, um, I'm not familiar with this newer guy really yet. I, I know he was featured on one of their videos, but I actually don't know I'm super well yet. We are not acquainted. I will do some research and learn everything about his voice. But I guess he wasn't belting words, but clearly they, they made up some kind of text because I don't... Ah, uh, gosh, you know what? I can't remember the theme song from the original soundtrack clear enough to remember if something like that is happening. Either way, it's a cool touch. And then you have Scott doing like this... He's doing like like almost like jazz scatting through while that's happening, which is such an interesting addition to that section. Can we go back? Guys, can we go back and listen to that again? Listen to listen to Scott doing a like crazy like Yeah, it's basically like a scat solo. Crazy cool. What are we in, Ema? G5. G5 for Eli there. This is one of my favorite voice play songs. And I don't know if that's because I'm so influenced by nostalgia or because they're smashing it. I'm pretty sure it's probably a combination of both. Man, how cool was that? And also the, the, the uh, video editing where they're just like, just coming in for a flash. A1's, down to A1 chest for Jeff. I know something much, much, much lower is coming here shortly. Red team. Blue team. Red team. Killionaire. God, it's so good. That was like a that was like a trap drop. Like a trap dubstep drop. I you know, you guys know how I am. I don't like it when reactors just sit back and make dumb faces. I was definitely just sitting back and making dumb faces. But now I'll add I, I'll add the analysis later. But they, they got me making some stupid faces today. And it's rare. 
it's rare that that I hear something, you know, having heard so much music and so much acapella that something uh, surprises me uh, in a good way. And this this is freaking fantastic. We're going back and we're listening to that transition again. We might be here all day. This could be a, this could be a long one. Sorry, guys. Again with the stacking, again with the stacking and so many cool cuts and breaks and video editing where they're transforming into one another and breakdowns and you've got red team, blue team coming in there. You've got uh, up, 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 up. Scott doing one of the grunts, doing like one of the grunt voices for those that play that, the, the little guys. Uh, Amazing. I mean, really fantastic. Just so much creativity, so many short stops where there's either complete silence, which is a great use of, it's a great part of an arrangement if you can use that silence. Um, I think Mozart has a quote about silence that I cannot remember at the moment. Someone put it in the comment section. Um, or Beethoven, one of, one, of the, one of the great composers of old. Um, they use silence in a way where there's all this madness happening and then it stops and you're like, it's like you can't breathe. It's like you're <gasps> until they start again. And you're like, oh, it's like they're hanging you off the edge of the cliff there. Uh, that whole section is freaking fantastic. I'm not going to go back uh, and listen to it all again. Uh, I probably will after this video. But this is really amazing. This is really a, is a really good arrangement. Uh, let's keep going. Maybe he did do that the first time too, but a B zero subharmonic, which I believe is the lowest sub. Is that the lowest sub recorded? Not recorded ever, but I mean recorded in like a professional production. It might be only to be matched by something coming out later this month from a group of your four favorite bass singers. There's a B zero somewhere in there. <clears throat> anyway, okay, fantastic B zero here, and, and not just a B zero underlying the foundation, like it might sound like a sub. I mean, you really hear it. You really hear that sub clearly, almost like a solo. Um, fantastic, fantastic. That's uh, that's a that's a that's definitely the first I've ever heard in a professional setting like this um so hats off to jeff breaking breaking records and then bringing it back to unison scott has this wonderful message at the end uh, oh yeah, by the way, I did watch the premiere and I'm still freaking out watching this video. This is what happens when you do a reaction, you real or an analysis, not just a reaction. Um, you really listen carefully. You're not just sitting back like a like a passive spectator like you might do during during a premiere like I did. You're listening and you're you're paying attention to all this stuff. So very sweet message at the end about um a friend to all theirs that has recently passed away and they used to get together and play Halo together. It's very sweet. I highly recommend watching it. 
Um, guys, this is one. This is one of my favorites. Not just a voice play, but favorites. Period. This is one of my. This is one of my favorite acapella pieces. This is so, so good. A, a true, in my opinion, ten out of ten. Taking the original source material and and turning it into this absolute. <laughs> audio video masterwork it's so fantastic and um great to see scott here i yeah i didn't know him before friday night lights but it's pretty cool that i just finished watching that show and then he pops up in a voice play video and i'm like jason street from friday night lights what's he doing in a voice play video apparently he uh was was the like he was the origin source for voice play he got the group going or had some uh, some part to its its birth, which is super cool uh, to see it. You know, kind of a a crossover from Hollywood into our little niche world of acapella, which it seems to be growing, which is very cool. Anyway, guys, this is uh, my this was definitely a a big reaction um, and analysis of uh, voice plays acapella version of the Halo theme. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, share this around. If uh, if you guys are getting value from what I'm what I'm talking about, what I'm analyzing, share it with your friends. Uh, any any you know music lovers who like a breakdown, who like getting a little technical, who like taking time and really thinking about music and the aspects of it. Um, I really enjoy doing it. I mean, if you can't tell, I was really having fun with this one. I mean, I was really having fun with this one. So. Hope you guys are enjoying voice play because we got more voice play coming out next week and maybe even some Jeff. And uh, I, I genuinely apologize to all these great requests for Halloween stuff. Um, you know, I was out of town for three weeks performing in a professional opera and I, I just, I can't, I can't get, I can't promise more than one a week. It's just, that is, that is my limit. I'm also, you know, still doing projects with the bass gang and my own cover stuff coming out it's really it's all i can do and i and i'm doing my best to keep up so thank you guys for watching and supporting and i hope you enjoyed this um i hope you enjoyed my reaction and analysis to it and i'll see you in a few more days for voice plays boogie boogie man the number one requested song so that's that see you guys later thanks for watching